Well, we're here working on uh, St. Jacques Knobscot 14 tonight. We'll give you an update on what we're doing. We'll start with what we just finished up on, and that's uh, working on these chocks for the uh, four locks for the oars. They need to sit up just a little bit above the gunnel. So we started off by making a little piece, uh, filler piece to go underneath the shear clamp another piece to go on the outside and then the uh, top piece of what will be the rail cap and the uh, orlock socket itself will go right there about where the clamp is it'll be drilled all the way through so it can drain as needed and we've attached all these pieces with the uh, total boat thickened epoxy the fast cure from Jamestown distributors it's a two-part epoxy. You uh, mix it up, hardener and the resin. I just take an old piece of cardboard and a paint stick and hum the Jeopardy tune a couple times. That gives you about two minutes of mixing. And you can attach it. We're not going to have any uh, fasteners in the top of this. It's just going to be fastened with the epoxy. So we've gone and done that for uh, the two rowing stations. This is the uh, station from the middle seat and here's the forward station it'll come from the uh, full up towards the bow here the next thing that we worked on before that was putting in these quarter knees it's a piece that holds the, the gunnel to the transom and the first thing we had to do was to available the top of the transom make it essentially parallel with the top of the gunnel here so we cut this piece out based on the plans it comes about six and three quarter inches forward along the side runs about eight inches back attached it with a couple of Silicone bronze screws from inside here and then from the outside. Then we took the belt sander, trusty belt sander with some 40 grit paper on it, and smoothed down this inside edge to get it matching the curve of the transom. Also came on in the inside and eased the underside edge to make it look a little bit lighter, even though it's full three-quarter inch thickness. There's plenty of support for the transom. Nice little sculling notch. Now the next thing that's going to go on top of this is a little cap that's going to cover all of this railing. It'll be a 5 eighths of an inch thick. It's going to be flush with the outside outer gunnel. And overhang the inboard uh, shear clamp about an eighth of an inch. We'll run up to where these chocks are. The chocks are, we got to shape them uh, in the next few days. Get them um, tapered down to meet that. Those are 5 eighths. And they're going to taper down to 5 sixteenths. Can't remember what I said earlier, but the rail cap is going to be 5 sixteenths. There's a nice uh, rudder cheek. Kind of held it up to the back of the boat today. It's going to fit just great. I need to get some number 12 screws to attach it, though. Might even uh, consider bolting it, but that's. I'll figure that out in a few days. Here's the rudder. Still need to shape the uh, edges on it. And that's what we got done today, quite a bit, on the Penobscot 14 St. Jock. Hope y'all are having a great evening, and we'll be back with you again soon.